What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video where we're going to be continuing the CompTIA Pentest Plus learning path. We will be covering the Hydra room where we'll learn about the use of Hydra, a fast network logon cracker to brute force and obtain a website's credentials. Go ahead and go to task number two and start the machine. So now we see that the IP has loaded. So what is Hydra? Hydra is a brute force password cracking tool used to hack various authentication services such as SSH, web applications, FTP, and SNMP, just to name a few. It can speed up the process of guessing passwords by running through a list or dictionary attack. Hydra supports brute forcing various protocols, including Asterisk, FTP, HTTP, IMAP, LDAP, and SMTP, and many other ones. It's important to use a strong password to avoid being vulnerable to attacks, as there are already 100 million password lists available containing common passwords, such as Seclis. Change the default passwords provided by out-of-the-box applications, as they are often not strong enough, so like default passwords that you see on like network switches, for example, or network devices, or a web app. Um, so if for more information about Hydra, um, you can click on this link here. And if you're not using Kai Linux and you need to install Hydra, you can check out this GitHub link or you can just Google how to install Hydra. And there's many articles out there step by step. You already just plug in the commands on your terminal and then you'll install it. And let's go ahead and hit complete. And on to task number two. All right, so Hydra commands. Deploy the machine, we did that. And then you can just right click and open the link in the new tab and you'll be prompted with a, a login page so we have this hydra looking thing uh i guess that's the logo for hydra uh username password field and then login the options we pass into hydra depends on which service protocol we're attacking for example if we wanted to brute force ftp with the username with the username being user and a password list being pass list .txt, we'd use this command over here let me go ahead and open it a terminal zoom in a bit all right <clears throat> for the purpose of this deployed machine here are the commands to use hydra on ssh and a web form post method let me open up my notepad too so we'll go ahead and copy this ssh method we'll plug it in here so the dash L option is for the username, the dash capital P is for the password list, and then dash T is the number of threads to use to kind of speed up the, uh, the brute force or dictionary attack. Post web form, we can use Hydra to brute force web forms too. You'll have to make sure you know which type of request it's making. Is it making a get or a post request? And those are generally the methods that are used. You can use your browser's network tab to see the request types or simply view the source code. So if we wanted to view the source code back on our login page, we hit view page source. You just browse here, look for method. As you can see, it's going to be the post method. And if you didn't want to use the view source page or view page source, you go to inspect, go to the network tab, uh, go ahead and hit reload, enter something like, uh, let's say admin and then test pass. And then you'll see this post request. You'll go ahead and click it. You'll go to request. You'll hit raw. And you'll see username equals admin and password equals test pass. We confirm that it is the post method. Below is an example Hydra command to brute force a post login form, which we just identified. So we'll go ahead and copy that. We'll go based off of it. So dash L again covers the username. Dash capital P is the password word list. And then the IP, of course. And then we have the HTTP post form, which is the type of form because it's sending a post request. The login URL, so the login page. For our example, this will be login slash login. The username, the form field where the username is entered. And then the password. So this little query right here that you see. Username equals user, password equals pass. If you go to the post method that was generated in the network tab, go to request, click raw. Your username equals admin and password equals test pass is what you're looking for. So we'll go ahead and copy that. Paste it there and you'll want to replace password with caret pass, all capital. And the same thing for admin. You'll want to keep it as caret user, all uppercase. 
So let's go ahead and go back. Login indicates to Hydra the login failed message, which would be this right here. And when you have an incorrect password or incorrect login attempt, you'll see the username or password is incorrect. We can use incorrect since incorrect is displayed here. We can keep that. And then dash V, verbose output for every attempt. So it's going to list every, every password that it tries in the dictionary attack. You should now have enough information to put this into practice and brute force yourself credentials uh, to the deployed machine. So this paid this Hydra login page right here. So use Hydra to brute force Molly's web password. What is flag number one? So we already grabbed this request over here, the username password and change it to the username field equaling to user and then the password equaling to password. So um, Hydra L and then the user as shown is Molly. The password list will use the standard default password list that comes on Cat Linux. User share word list slash rocku rocku.txt. This is the default path. You can use the same path on your end because by default the rocku.txt file is stored in this directory. And in case you haven't used rocku.txt, it's going to be unzipped, or it's going to be a zipped file, so you can unzip it by just by running unzip user share word list and then rocku.txt dot whatever the extension is or you can use gunzip so if that doesn't work you could try gunzip etc etc so that's the password list the ip that's correct the HTT post form method that's correct and then as you know um within these within these double quotes there's three different sections they're separated by the colon so the first section You'll want to copy the login. So this is where the login form is located. Paste it there. Username equals user and password equals pass. That's correct. And then F equals incorrect. We can keep that since we see the incorrect login attempt. Your username or password is incorrect. We can keep that the same. And then V for verbose. So once you finish building up your command, go ahead and plug it into the terminal and then hit enter and then now it's going to go through <clears throat> now it's going to go through each each password one by one in the dictionary the rock txt file until it finds a password and as you can see it found the password sunshine for the user molly so let's go ahead and copy the password username molly and the password sunshine and here is our flag so now we found a valid password for molly on the web application. Copy that flag and then submit it. Okay, question number two. Use Hydra to brute force Molly's SSH password. So we'll use the same SSH query that, that was provided earlier. Hydra dash L is gonna going to be Molly. It's going to be Molly. So Molly password, same password list. We're going to use the rock you user share word list slash rock u.txt. The same IP, we'll keep the threads at four, and then we're brute forcing SSH. So that is the service we're going to brute force. Again, plug that in. It's going to go through the rock u.txt until it find, it's going to go through each individual password in the dictionary list until it finds the right one. So this time we left the verbose option out, which is the dash V. So it's not gonna display each password that it goes through. So it doesn't look like anything's happening, but it's going through the list until it finds, <coughs> until it finds the correct password. So it might take a second or two. And as we can see, it found the password butterfly for the user Molly. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And then let's go ahead and try to SSH. So it's going to be SSH Molly at 10.10.43.209. Go ahead and hit yes. And then butterfly. And then butterfly. Fat looks like a fat fingered. And, and we're in. So you do a quick LS and you see flag number two is over there. So we can just quickly cat it. 
copy your flag and submit it and just like that we learn how to brute force SSH and the web form this is pretty practical in the real world unless they have uh, account lockout features of course after a certain number of failed attempts um, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video